I'm going to do a real quick video here just showing how easy it is to use music in mind control. Okay, I have these charismatic, charismaniac nuts here. Torben Sundergaard in the last Reformation. Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, reforming people back to Catholicism, I imagine. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to show you just the first clip here is an is advertisement for their new movie that's going to be coming out whenever. And, you know, listen to how they use the music. Okay? Just play a little bit of it here. A new movement! A new movement! God, you are doing it! You are doing it! You are rising people up! See that? And builds to a climax and <laughs> stops. Inspiring, powerful, and life changing. Mm hmm. Yeah, all right. Now watch again at the end here what they do. Listen to the music. It goes up and it and you have a hard driving beat and things and and they flash the images really quickly and then and then it goes to the you get some of the all oh, you know some of the singing in with it like the angelic voice sound. Listen. I want to serve you Jesus. And we speak life God. Life, life, life. A new movement. A new movement God. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're rising people up. This is weird. <laughs> If people can just get it, that this is what it's all about. <laughs> okay. And what happens is people actually think that this is the move of the Holy Spirit or something, you know, because it's it invokes these powerful, strong emotions. It's the music that's doing it. Okay. I just let me let me just prove that really quickly here. Okay. Let me just mute the track right there. Now watch. Does it mean anything? No. Doesn't mean anything. Without the sound, without that music there to control you, doesn't mean anything. I'm going to prove that. Uh, and of course this is this is a prophetic in nature because in the time of Jacob's trouble the uh, whole world is going to worship the image of the beast. Uh, mainstream media is going to be used to turn him into a god. And I know I haven't, I've, I don't know if I've talked about that much before, but there's a lot of speculation among, you know, Bible believing Christians who's the Antichrist going to be? And you say, well, it couldn't be Jared Kuchner because, you know, he's connected to Trump. People don't like Trump, so it couldn't be him. And it could be Emmanuel Macron, the new president of France, because he's a Jesuit. Um, the Jesuit trained, you know, okay, I'm not making that up. It's, that's a fact. And people say, well, I don't know, it couldn't. We have to remember, when the body of Christ leaves, there's going to be a lot of chaos. And the man of sin, when they bring him out, they're going to use all the power of mainstream media to turn him into a god. And they can do it very easily. I'm going to show you how music can actually manipulate your emotions. Okay? Now this one here, they're out there and, they, and Torben puts his hands on this poor woman and she just like is losing her mind. I'm going to play it. I feel bad for her, but I'm going to use this thing. You know, it's a shame what they did to her, but I'm going to use this clip here to prove my point. There's no music background with this. And now watch what he does. I'm just going to play a little bit of this here. She starts going into this screaming and guttural thing, and he quick grabs a megaphone and starts talking, trying to talk above what she's doing because it's starting to weird people out. And you'll hear the people clapping and, and screaming and stuff again because they're getting very nervous at this woman losing her mind. You know, and I believe it's more than just losing her mind. I think that Torben is actually putting devils into these people. But let's watch this. Let go! Let go! Come on! Come on! Go! Go right now! Go right now! Leave her! Leave her! Come on! Come on! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go right now! Come on! Let's go! Leave her right now! Come on! Come on right now! In the name of Jesus! Let go! Let go of him! Let go of him! Let go! This, this is what we are seeing, there is power in this. Okay guys, I think you can hear it already, can you? Yeah. But this is the power, and it's not like this every time, but why do this happen? Because we have not been preaching that baptism is just a symbol. We have been preaching freedom, repentance, and what it is. And I can see on her eyes already when she stood there, she started to feel bad. She started to feel something was there. And sometimes it's like that, sometimes it's cry about it. I like this. If you read it about he just said, I like this. 
He likes this. Whenever demons came out with loud screams. He says, all the demons came out with loud screams. That's what you read in the Bible. Um, show me one place where any demon is cast out of somebody after they were baptized. Never happens in the Bible. Let's continue just a little bit here. Now I'm going to show you the music thing. And because of that, he even saw what happened and so on. So you get an idea of it. Now we start to baptize a few more. So how is this? Okay. Did you notice how he's yelling really loud? Even into the, the megaphone there, he's really raising his voice loud because he sees that this woman's, you know, possession uh, basically is really starting to weird some people out. He's a fraud, people. But let's, let me just show you. Okay, that was a pretty bad thing there. So I'm going to help out the last Reformation by adding some music. All of this music is uh, royalty-free music that I own the license to. So don't try to put any copyright stuff on me because I can refute it. I got the license to all of this music that I'm going to be putting in here. Okay, we're going to start out with this one here. That's very easy to do. All you got to do is just uh, you take your different audio tracks up here. And then you just bring it right down on the timeline. This is Sony Vegas here that I use, uh, just to kind of show you how some of this stuff works. Okay, so I'm gonna. This one's kind of quiet, so I'm gonna have to bring the audio level down here on the speaking track. But let's see how this would work. Okay, see, just that little bit of music added in there, it kind of evokes some emotions. But now let me show you what happens when you put the wrong kind of music in. doesn't all work you know so you gotta put in different types now let's see if some inappropriate music for this particular sensitive scene Yeah, I have all these royalty free songs on different CDs and things. I'm always like, what am I going to use this stupid heavy metal for? Well, there you go. Just to demonstrate uh, how music can be used to mind control people. Uh, but see, of course, whoever his video editors, editors are, they would say, no, that doesn't evoke the right emotions there. You know, don't use that track in that part. So we'll delete that one there. And uh, now we'll try another one. Okay. Again, show you another. You know, just, just again, think of this as you're trying to, you know, as a video editor, you're trying to evoke the strong emotions. I'll show you a real good one here next, but let's listen to another one. Probably that wouldn't be a good idea either. Okay. Again, not going to work. Not a good track for that. Now I'll show you a good one. This is the kind that uh, a good video editor would use. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let me bring the volume back down a little bit again so you can hear the music real good. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? And all you got to do is just cut the video and stuff and put a little bit of slow motion in there and some close-ups of the face and, and everything else. You get that real triumphant sound, you know. And 
okay and just you know just to show that I mean I'm not even a, a ultra professional or anything else but I can even put stuff together like this and make it look very awe-inspiring and everything else put another one in so you gotta use some of this stuff up just to say I've actually used them one time or another but just again look at how music can change the whole scene okay that was very awe-inspiring wow you know watch this one close. You might be able to use that one, I don't know. But uh, again, see how different music can really change things. Okay, let's try another one. Again, pretty good. You know, we use that to invoke some well, some more strong emotions. Uh, let's see. Just do three more here just for kicks. Here we go. Ready? Bring the volume back up on this one. don't think that would get the right you know thing there so I'll tell you what it's a lot of fun sometimes when you're putting video together to put music tracks in there and stuff you know it's exciting but okay two more here <laughs> So again, see how the mood changes. You know, some of these soundtracks I'm playing are just totally inappropriate for the the scene that, that you would want the message that, that they're trying to convey. And again, I'm just showing you how the the video editing thing works. And like I said, I'm low level. I mean, I'm not even a real highly professional video guy or anything. I usually don't even mess with this stuff, graphics and music background and stuff like that. I, I usually just put the thing together, put the preaching together, and you know, cut the ends off. You know, where it's the video's beginning, the video's ending, and fade in, fade out, and you know, I'll throw in some text and pictures and whatever else. Some videos sometimes, but you know, it's really not that difficult to put music tracks in that can totally swing people's emotions, and that's why people watch this and they go, "Oh, it's such a powerful move of God! Oh, it's so powerful!" No, the music is powerful. You're being controlled by the music, right? But I'm gonna put my final track in here. This is really kind of what I think about the, the whole last Reformation circus. I thought this was a pretty good one. play all night I like that one but uh, that kind of symbolizes really the carnival that's going on here uh, a bunch of clowns playing around and stuff and of course I'm in no way making fun of the poor woman that's in the thing and they're messing with her head and everything else um, I'm making fun of these uh, clownsville carnival here you know so but just I wanted to show that video because a lot of people like I said are saying that Torben is just this powerful spiritual leader you're being mind controlled by the music in his videos. Again, 
One more time, I'll play. Movement. Have you movement, God? You have unit. You have unit. You have ice and peace. Okay. It's all video editing. Team on up. This is weird. <laughs> okay. And of course, you get the, the crying thing going on there, too. Favorite tactic of, of false prophets and things. They'll throw in the tears and things. And of course, fans of Torben will say, How do you make fun of him? He's a man of God. He's sensitive. He's, he's crying over souls. He's lying about the Word of God. He's a liar. He is a deceiver. He is telling people that they get baptized and then they, he casts devils out of them after baptism. Never once happened in Scripture. Not about to happen in Scripture. And then he you know, gives them speaking in tongues and stuff like this. And it's funny because half the time the guy you know, goes to foreign countries that he can't speak their language and he's having interpreters. Well, uh, if you got all these Holy Spirit powers, why not speak in the language of the people? It's deception. You understand? It's deception. You can swing people's emotions with music. It's done all the time. All the time. Be careful what you're watching and listening to.